And we're back. I've decided that I'm not going to wait. Um, I'm just going to come over here and come along the river and grab up whatever sugar cane I can find. Um, I probably won't get enough this way, but it's worth a shot. Um, see what I can get and hopefully if I'm lucky I'll get somewhere close to enough or at least enough to give us a good start um, while I'm doing it maybe maybe my sugar cane will grow who knows Um, so, yeah. <sighs> what to talk about? Hmm. What shall we talk about today, guys? Well, I'm going to Minecon, which is exciting. Trip to Florida. Um, I'll be down there from the 1st of November until... Oh, well, that's interesting. Cool. Um, I guess the river goes dry in this direction, so... We go in the other direction. Um, yeah, I, my brother picked the tickets up for me. Um, it's really scary for me because I am scared to death of crowds. I, I really just don't function. Um, but my brother got the tickets because he knew that I wanted to go and and meet whatever friends. I have that were there, and if my friends didn't go, at least get the experience of, of seeing some of the people that I enjoy watching on YouTube in person. So, he bought the tickets for me, and, and now I, I kind of have to go, because he bought them, and it would be really crappy of me not to go when there's like... I don't know, hundreds of people that, that want to go and weren't able to get tickets, so, yeah, I'm going to Minecon, um, and not only am I going to Minecon, but going to SeaWorld, that's exciting to me, I love sea creatures and, and, and all that stuff, die cow, die, thank you. Um, I want to see the manatees and dolphins and the seals. That's what I, that's what I want to see. Manatees, dolphins, and seals. And, yeah. So, SeaWorld it is, and Minecon. Minecon and SeaWorld. Um, both are places with crowds, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna be strong and and do it. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Be strong and do it. And what do I want to see when I go there? Hmm. When I go to Minecon, I mean. I want to see I don't know what I want to see. I don't know who I want to see. I mean, if I'm being bluntly honest here, I really just have no clue. I... I enjoy and admire a lot of YouTubers, um, but I don't know if those YouTubers are going. Um, <sighs> hmm. I would like to... I would like to see Kurt J. Mac. Um, dude has a good, good commentator's voice. Um, and he does a really lot of good with his Let's Playing. He doesn't, he's not out to do it for greed or fame. He just does it because he wants to legitimately help children. And that is admirable. That <sighs> that is 
awesome. In in the world of Ian, somebody who is selfless to that degree is somebody who I'd like to shake their hand. Um, who else would I like to meet? Um, Vintage Beep. I, it's gonna be his first Minecon, gonna be my first Minecon. Um, he's an amazing builder. He's a nice guy. I don't know. I'd like to meet Vintage Beep. Um, I... I would like to meet the guys from the Shaft, because they're funny as hell. It's, it's just fact. They're funny. They are so hilarious. I... I don't know. I think that they would be an interesting bunch to meet. Um... I... I want to get the goodie bag. I really don't care about the cape. Um... I'd like to... I'd like to go... Uh, hopefully the Fire UK people will have a panel again. And I'd like to go to that and... And hear about their builds and what they're currently working on and... And see all the fanciness that they do because... They're... They're pretty awesome when it comes to creativity in Minecraft. They've... They've got something going for them that that not many Minecrafters have. I mean, the Minecraft community is huge. We all know that, right? But the Minecraft community of builders and the level of creativity that that is put out by by these people, um, you see so many, so many Minecrafters that are all about, well, let's do survival, and let's play legit, and blah, 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 and you know what? I think creative, creative building is its own level of legit. The people that are capable of making these amazing builds that, that most of us can only imagine in our heads the people that are able to make them real and and make them places for us to download and go to on our characters those people whether they build legit or not yes i just did air quotes there guys i am so corny um those people are people that i admire i i'm not ashamed to admit that I have a little bit of fangirl thing going on for them people. Um, I wish I had the talent that they did and the creativity and just the overall awesomeness. Um, because in the scale of awesome, I'm a nothing and they're a something. Um, and the things that you see put out in in their worlds you'll never see those in most ordinary survival worlds and <coughs> oh excuse me sorry about that guys um yeah those those builds are hmm they do not need the claim of legit I went out and farmed this stone, and farmed this wool, and farmed this everything, and came up with this crazy insane build. They do not need that to impress people. They don't need that to, to make their builds any more grand than they are, because their builds are just grand. Um, just the amazing amount of crea creativity that they put into these things that that's that's all they need if they there's nothing nothing that that could make those builds any more grand because they're just 
<sighs> There's something that the ordinary person, the ordinary Minecrafter, wouldn't be able to pull off in creative mode or not. Um, so yeah, Fire UK guys. I just totally sounded like a fangirl and um, I, I'm not ashamed. I'm just not because I think being a fangirl is okay once in a while. Yep, I said it. It's okay to be a fangirl guys. Or at least it's okay for me to be one. You don't like it, you can shove it. That's the way I see it. Alrighty, so I've got a whole bunch of sugarcane. Um, not nearly enough, I'm sure, but it's a whole bunch of sugarcane nonetheless. And I am going to go back home now, and how much do you need? So you need three books per bookcase, and you need three pieces of paper per book. So that's nine per bookcase, and nine times forty. Yeah, I don't even begin to have enough, um sugarcane but I don't care I I started it on its way and that's that's enough for now um it's more than what I had and it means waiting a little bit less for long for my sugarcane to grow so yeah and I get to talk to you guys while I was farming it this is lava I know that's lava I just it is because it, it has to be. Um, I don't know where my house is right now, so I'm just going to follow this river till I find it. Um, because this river is how I got here. Um, I'm going to try not to fall into any places while I do this. So, yeah. Um, and I think nighttime might be coming. And if that's the case, I'm sad because I don't want to play at nighttime. Um, I don't want to. Um, whatever. I'm just going to keep going and hope that I find home. Oh, home will be right over that hill. Not hill, but that tree. I'm sure. Yes, that, that, that's my forest. It has to be. Right, guys? Right? Tell me, tell me that's my forest. I'm pretty sure that's my forest. There can't be too many forests around here. I mean, most of it's desert and savanna, so... And mesa. There, see, I told you, right through this forest. Um, and I'm home. And so I will be back, like I said, when I have enough sugarcane to... to complete the in-craft... in crafting? In crafting? What the hell? The enchanting setup. I need to learn to talk. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I will be back, and we'll talk some more. And we're back. Um, so, I have enough sugarcane to finish the book set for the enchanting setup. Um, I keep falling into this cave, so I decided, rather than screw around with it, I'm just gonna go like this, and... Like so. Mm. Yes, just like that. Now, no more folly and KB. Yeah, that's a good thing. So, let's go make our enchanting setup. Sorry about that. The coffee cops just got me. Um gonna eat real quick. Go ching voila. And we will not be enchanting books right now. Well setting up right now because we need more wood. Um so it's almost night time. Can we get a few choppy chops in? Let's go get some. But do I have an axe on me? I do. 
Let's go get a couple trees cut down. <sighs> okay, I guess that was not a tree, that was just a bunch of leaves. And we'll go for this tree. I don't know how many logs we're going to need, but we're going to need a few. So we'll just keep chopping. <coughs> Excuse me. And just step right out here. Put that there. Put that there. Mm-hmm. Like so. Yeah, we'll go with it. Nice. Not the fortune I would have liked, but it's a fortune. So, let us go down. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Into the strip mines. Hopefully I lit it up enough. Hopefully. We may as well just put that down on our bar. And we are going to do a tiny bit of mining. That's what we're going to do. Um, now, you guys will have to bear with me because I don't... Oh. Oh. I do remember this one. Um, how much should... We, ten. I don't know how many that started off with, but... Ten. So we are off to a good start. That's for sure you. We'll come up this tunnel. Now I know there's a cave up here somewhere. Um, this is not it, however. There's a cave where if you go off to this side yes, 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 yes right here twitch the room up a little now there's not many diamonds here but there's a few. We are up to 14. Um, right then. Now I think it's this, this tunnel here that leads us to diamonds. Is it this way? No. It would be this way. Must be. Now I know there's lots of things left in the walls, I'm okay with that, and I know you're probably thinking, well, if you had all that stuff in the... Here we go. One second. We are back. Let's grab these diamonds. And... I believe... But that's it for this hallway. We can come this way. A little ways. Pretty sure this cave didn't go up to diamonds. Pretty sure. We can double check. Um, oh, this came to our spider spawner. Because we did find a spider spawner. With a saddle. And a name tag. Exciting. There's a donkey out in the back that that I would like to use that for. Hmm. Now I remember. So back up this way. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's no more diamonds in here. But we will keep going and check it out. We'll come around to this side. And there might be diamond. Yes. And 32 diamonds. One moment. All right, I am back. We need to eat. Select our pickaxe. <sighs> and I believe our last diamonds were down this pathway. I may be wrong, but we'll go check it out. So, come back here. Do -do 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 do 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 And yes, I remember because I stopped the pathway because diamonds. Now, 44 diamonds. That's what we're at. That is some fancy. Exciting. Awesome. Amazing. We are happy little creature. Holy fuck. <sighs> no, 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 no. No. How? Mm-hmm. Well... Oh, I see. They're falling from up there. Uh-huh. Well, we want nothing to do with up there right now. We just want to go up and get out. We got all our diamonds. We got our name tag and our saddle for our donkey and we are gonna come up here and holy caca it's almost night time it is night time holy do 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 sleep Um, so yes, now as you guys can see, they've added it so that achievements now show up in, in your chat, so yes, that's fancy, um, exciting, fun, whatever, whatever you want to call it, it's good. Um, we've got our enchanting set up out there, I should probably case it up. Um, gonna come, go boop, doop, doop. We'll count these as valuables and deet, deet. Anything else in here? Record. Yeah, all that stuff can be counted as valuable. Um, we'll make a door. Do 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 and pop that on our bar. Put that on our bar. I think, guys, that in our next episode we we'll, we will have moved back to the mesa because if you haven't noticed, we have just so much stuff.
I'm so worried that a creeper will have spawned during that little brief phase of nighttime. And and we are going to get exploded while covering this. That's that's my worry right now. Because that's my luck. Anybody who knows me knows that, that would happen to me. Anybody who knows me knows that that would happen to me, and so, yeah, I worry. I worry terribly. So, yes, enchanting setup is covered. Um, I know it doesn't look spectacular or fancy or anything like that, but it does the job. And with that, we are going to close out episode 5. I know this is a short one. Um... But we got diamonds. We got diamonds. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I will be back. And I believe next time we will be going up, finding our perfect little place in the mesa over there. Um, and then we will move all this stuff up there. Um, maybe I will find myself an ender pro before then. If not, I will definitely tame that donkey so that we can do it in as few trips as possible. Alright, bye bye for now. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.